Hello guys and welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 120 gigabyte solid state drive from Adata. In this video I'm going to unbox the product and then we are going to run a couple benchmarks. This can be bought off Amazon for $37.99. The link will be in the description. And I originally bought this to replace the solid state drive that I took out on my Dell Inspiron 15 laptop. But I thought a better use for this would be to use it to boot live operating systems off of using this Orico USB-C hard drive enclosure. So I think I'm going to use it for that instead. Still going to benchmark it through SATA so we get accurate results, but in the end, I'm going to install it in this Orico hard drive enclosure. Now, I personally really like taking a look at these cheaper solid state drives because I am a college student and I'm not for dropping 65 bucks on a 120 gigabyte drive that's just going to be used for testing. And yes, I'm referring to the Samsung Evo, which is currently $65. This is nearly half the price and is going to get the job done for half the price. Um, I have a similar solid state drive. I have the Silicon Power S60. 120 gigabyte SSD in my Dell Latitude 2120 and I'm probably going to make a couple comparisons between it and this drive in the video because they are uh, in the same class as far as price and supposed performance is concerned. And by the way, if anyone's interested in taking a look at that Silicon Power S60, which is a fantastic drive, by the way, I've been using it for a little under a year and it's still, oh my god, I almost cut myself. It's still a great performer. I need like a sharp knife or something, not these scissors. I have a knife in the back. I just haven't bothered to break it out. Everyone's like, yeah, you need a knife for your unboxings. And you know what? I completely agree. So let me go grab it. Oh, I found it. And by the way, not really going to go over the box too much. I mean, if you guys really want to take a look at everything, I will take an HD picture and put an overlay on the screen so you can read all of the labeled specifications off. But where was I before I went to go grab that? You know what? Yeah, I was talking about the Silicon Power S60 solid state drive. Uh, absolutely great solid state drive. And if this one doesn't work out, I highly suggest uh, if you're looking for a great budget 120 gigabyte solid state drive, you take a look at that one. Once again, the link will be in the description. Yeah, that was a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put this back in so I don't cut my fingers off. All right. And let's see what comes in the package. I see a little user manual right here. Let me go ahead and pull this out first because it's kind of in the way. There we go. Quick start guide, solid stage driver. We shouldn't really need to read that. Operation is going to be pretty straightforward. Installation is going to be the same as any other SSD. And it looks like we have the drive here. And that's about it. Going to pull it out of the box. Oh, okay, so there is a little spacer included as well. No drive screws, unfortunately. And that's not really a big deal because they didn't advertise that there were drive screws uh, included with the drive. But I always like it when the drives do come with extra drive screws because I tend to lose them a lot. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not any points off there. Let's move all this out of the way and take a closer look at the solid state drive itself. Overall build quality is pretty decent. It is a bit light, but that's probably a good thing, especially if you're going to throw this in something like a laptop. When I try to put it through the flex test, yes, it does give a significant amount of flex. I could probably tear this apart with my hands, to be honest. But then again, this is going to be inside your laptop or inside a drive enclosure to protect it. So that's not that big of a deal. I performed a scratch test on the top and on the bottom. It turns out the bottom is made out of some sort of metal. I think it's aluminum and the top is plastic. This 2.5 inch drive is very thin, coming in just under 7 millimeters, and it weighs a little under 2.5 ounces. This particular model, the SP550, has advertised read speeds of 560 megabytes per second through a SATA 3 port and 410 megabytes per second. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us what benchmark they use to achieve those speeds. I am going to use Crystal Disk Mark and a Curveball today because I'm going to try a new one uh, out that I have never used before. So we're going to try to further validate the results from this drive by using two different benchmarks. In the past, I've only used one benchmark and I have gotten some complaints about that. So I'm going to try to make things a bit more accurate by uh, throwing something else in the mix. Installing and formatting that SSD was really easy, didn't run into any problems, it's just like installing any other solid state drive. I have Crystal Disk Mark 5.0.2 open right now and AS SSD open right now as well. We are going to run both of these benchmarks on that solid state drive which is in my ASUS G75 gaming PC. In this PC I have a quad core i7, 12 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, SATA 3 capabilities. I couldn't remember the name of this other benchmark earlier. I was just like, yeah, we're going to run that other benchmark. Do you pronounce it ASSSD or is it as SSD? I'm not really sure because once again, first time I've used this benchmark. So if you know how to pronounce that properly, uh, please put that in the description. But let's go ahead, stop talking and run both of these.
The results are in and I'm actually pretty impressed. This drive performed much better than my Silicon Power S60 solid state drive. It blew it out of the water as far as ride speeds are concerned. It's not quite at the Samsung Evo 850 level of performance, that, but then again, you do have to keep in mind that this solid state drive is half the price of the Evo 850 and performance is pretty darn good for $37. You can take a look at all of the results right here. I'm not gonna read off every single one. There are some interesting discrepancies between the two benchmarks marks you can check those out right here i'll actually throw up a picture so it's a little bit more clear we can see crystal disk mark has our sequential read speeds at 561 megabytes per second sequential write speeds are at 381 megabytes per second uh, that is a bit lower than the advertised write speeds not really sure what benchmark they were using once again to test out this drive it might just be because of our benchmark who knows those results might actually be valid with a separate benchmark now once again if anyone knows what they use you know post it in the comment section because I am interested to find out. You can check out our random read and write speeds there as well for both of the benchmark. Overall, came out very well, very happy with these results. I went ahead and tossed that solid state drive into my Orico USB-C drive enclosure and it is ready to run some live operating systems. Really excited to use this during an actual video because in all of my past videos I've been stuck using really slow USB flash drives to boot live operating systems off of and I'm glad I was finally able to afford an upgrade. Overall, this was a great little budget solid state drive. Really liking it. We're getting some great figures out of this. I can't really comment on longevity yet because I've only used it for a day. I will keep you guys updated if it decides to die, but so far everything is looking great from this thing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. Of course, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links, both of which will be in the description. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon and don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Now I actually have a giveaway coming up soon. If you want to check that out, it's on the Facebook page. You can get a little sneak peek there. I actually needed to uh, unbox this solid state drive first so I could test out the uh, item for the giveaway before I actually give it away. I'm going to uh, make a little review about it and it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent product. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.